What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ramblin' Garage. Today we're going to be taking a look at the, I said earlier it was a 75, but this is actually a 76 since I looked at the VIN plate. Uh, the stickers and stuff are similar, so I didn't, uh, I didn't know just by looking at it, uh, year to year the stickers are similar. Uh, so it's a 76 SS125, it is an Air mach -E, obviously. Um, Today we're going to dig into this thing and we're going to see if we can get this thing started. So I got a couple manuals that I printed. Um, I don't have them out here, but I actually sent them off to Office Max, found the PDFs online and have all the manuals. Got those super cheap. So I have those. I have a bunch of parts coming in, but today uh, I actually I picked up a battery. Um, I got a battery over there. The guy that sold it to me said the battery in there was new, uh, but it wasn't taking a charge. Uh, now that I think about it, I need to get a fuse as well before we can actually try and kick this thing over. Um, but before we get there, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in the first video or not, but the recoil uh, spring on this guy is broken. So we're going to pull this off, pull this cover off, and in this video as well, we're going to take the carb off, clean that up, uh, put a new filter in there, we'll get the tank and everything taken off. Uh, again, we're going to delete the oil pump. I'm going to run premix in this thing just because then we don't have to worry about the oil pump ever going bad. Uh, so we're going to remove these lines as well. We'll cap off the oil pump or the oil reservoir itself and uh yeah so we got a few things to do uh, i also have a new one of these coming in which looks pretty simple to replace uh, i don't i think it goes under the tank but there should just be a clip um have a new bucket for the key cylinder coming in that's one other thing we have to do is i printed off a diagram with to make sure the key cylinder is correct and then i have uh have these new lights coming in. I had a bunch of stuff coming in, so we should be able to get this thing going pretty quick. Um, these parts are coming from Pennsylvania, so that'll take a little bit. But enough talking, let's dig into this. Uh, we're gonna start by pulling that side cover off, and uh, while the battery's charging, we'll take a look at that. It's a little different than when you saw it last. I did take a little break to uh, wire up. I have a tailgate light bar on the truck, and the last one went bad, so we wired that up. Um, I gotta just finish with some some wiring down on the bottom there, and tuck that away. Pulled this cover off, um, and took a look at the uh, the recoil spring down here, and it's not broken, which is good. But when I put that back in, I'm not allowed or I'm not able to crank, and I'm not sure why. So I'm gonna go inside get the manual. Uh, we did take everything off here. Looks like we have a semi-clean coil here. Everything looks pretty good. We'll probably take that oil tank off and clean it out. I have that capped off for now, as you can see. I was leaking crap everywhere. Uh, so we'll have that. We'll probably take it off and clean it out, but we're not gonna use it anymore. Like I said earlier, we're gonna run premix. Uh, everything in here looks pretty decent. There's a little surface rust, so sit for a little bit um, but everything seems to function fine so that's good uh, tank is off so we'll clean that up put some premix in there and this is what I was wondering actually is uh, like I said I have a replacement coming in here it looks like it comes down to it's either side of here uh, so we'll be able to pop that off real easy um, so yeah, that's uh, that's how far we are right now. I am going to uh, take a little break here myself. Oh, I did a, I did actually. <laughs> this is original, apparently, according to my manual. Um, but I, I broke the nut on there over tightening it. It got pretty loose on me. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll run and grab a new nut for that. We'll continue this here in a little bit. I'm going to take a personal break myself, and uh, I'll be back with you guys here shortly. All right, so as I'm out here contemplating life decisions, is about to go inside, uh, a male lady pulls up and we got the new switch in. So uh, before we go in and research what the heck's going wrong there, uh, we're gonna put this new switch in. If we follow the uh, line here, it looks like it goes 
and it goes, and it goes. I believe it's this one, and I believe wrong. It is this one. So we'll uh, we'll unclip this, put the new switch on, and once our battery there is done charging, we'll at least be able to see if we get a horn or you know something. Uh, still got to figure out the kickstart and stuff to see if we have spark. So. I'm gonna do that right now, and I'll be back with you guys actually after I research the uh, Kickstarter a little more. So, it's a new day since I saw you guys last. It's been snowing outside uh, today. Uh, I think you guys will see this video in like two weeks. I just have that many videos queued up right now, but uh, it is snowing outside right now, so I uh, have one of the cars in the garage, so I can't pull the bike out yet. Uh, we're gonna actually have some plans later, so we'll keep that outside, pull the bike over, and I just got a bunch of new parts in that we're gonna take a look at. Um, but progress since last time is not a whole lot. Uh, put the side cover back on. We don't have the kickstart on currently. Uh, I actually have that taken apart and I was waiting on a uh, kickstart return spring. Uh, I did take the whole bike in the back of my truck. I'll put a picture up now and took it out to the uh, car wash just to get some of the uh, oil and stuff that we dripped off of it off completely. You can see the chrome's a little more cleaned up. Got some of this. It's still a little dirty, but... Got some of that stuff that was caked on off of it. Um, over here, uh, spoilers are tables. We have parts in. I have three envelopes and a box. You might see these blur out a little bit because I'm just trying to protect my address there. Um, but we're going to open these and see what we have going on. Uh, probably not going to install these until I leave and get the car out and move the bike over and have a little bit more space. And uh, also, one of the things in here, I believe, are for the Z90, so we can use our speedometer. But that's enough talking. We're going to take our Gucci knife here, and we're going to open these up and see what parts we got. First thing is just a little keychain. I try to get a, a keychain so I can differ differentiate each key. Uh, I have a different one for the Trans Am, the Rambler. Uh, second one is going to be our recoil spring. Uh, you'll see that the one that I have that looks like the edge of this broke off, so it just wasn't working properly. That wasn't sitting in the actual uh, the peg that comes out. That the um, the the kickstarts. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, it just didn't seat in there properly, so uh, this one should fix it. It was only like 10 bucks, so I figured why not. Not something because it's a little rusty. Uh, this is just a brake pedal. Uh, ours is missing the rubber, and I wanted it to look decent. So, got the rubber piece. We also have to bend that pedal back out. It should be a big deal. And this should have the, the most of our stuff in it that we need. This is our Z90 Speedo cable. That's exciting. We maybe only got part of what we ordered. Let's see what's in here. Spoke too soon. There's sufficient packaging. This is the uh, this is where the key goes in. Uh, so there's a sticker that goes on here as well, which I believe. So this is not an OEM part, this is a, a remake, but it does tell you, I hope you guys can see that, the part ignition and off, uh, and then there's the holes up here, one for the high beam. I believe the one, other one is the alternator, so that'll, it'll look factory, it's not totally factory, but it's very close. And then we have our lights, it looked like our lights broke some point uh, on the bike when it was dumped or tipped or whatever happened, so we have the orange light for the uh, generator and the blue light for the high beam. Um, these parts right here, I got these from HO Creations on eBay. I'm gonna put his link in the description. I actually, today is Monday. I talked with him on Friday and I believe he shipped at like 11 o'clock on Friday and they're here already from Pennsylvania. So that return time is awesome. Uh, some of the other stuff that I've gotten, for this bike and that bike have been from uh, Moto Italia, Leslie at Moto Italia in California. Uh, he has helped me a tremendous amount also on that bike, uh, getting part numbers and stuff. So I'll put his link in the description as well. Definitely check them both out. This turnaround time was amazing. I didn't think I was gonna be able to work on this thing until Wednesday, but we might get this thing running yet tonight. We'll see. 
Um, so I'm going to go head out, do my things. I will be back. This bike will be moved a little bit and we'll start working on it and uh, try and get it running. All right, we are back. Um, I did play with this a little bit. This uh, recoil spring, I think, is actually too big. If we look at this in comparison to the one that's on there, it's quite a bit thicker, so I don't think it's going to work. Uh, I did get that one to kind of work a little bit better. Uh, the previous owner said this O-ring is, uh, well, not a good one. So we're going to replace that. Uh, before we do that, we're going to try and wire up the key. And uh, I have a key down here. I have a key and a diagram. So we're going to wire up this key. I'm missing the number one prong, but it looks like number nine will be on all the times that number one is on. So we'll jump that. I think that's what somebody tried to do here, but that's, uh, that's not how that works. So um, we're going to get rid of that. Try to wire that up. We'll put the battery in. We'll see if we at least have lights and a horn and stuff like that. So we're going to get to that right now. So I think we made a little progress. We go up here. You guys just saw the tail light on, I think. Uh, we got the key in. We did have to do a little jumper here. I'm not uh, huge on that, so we might have to try and find a new key fob. But for now, it works. You can see I put the little uh, key ring on there as well. Uh, so now that works, uh, for now at least. Uh, for some reason, I don't seem to be getting any power over here. I don't know if that's a connection issue. I would think the horn would work. Uh, it's plugged in. I think that's the right one too. Yeah, that's the horn. This is flash. I don't seem to get any front light. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll have to check out the wiring diagram. You see, if we turn on the tick turn signals. This is the left one. Uh, flasher doesn't seem to be working. Oh. I just heard it click, but it, it didn't uh, it didn't keep on working. So the flasher might be broken, but you see we have uh, lights working back there as well. Um, it looks like the tail light wants to uh, do a brake light when I hold the, the pump brakes, uh, but that light might be burnt out the second filament. So we'll have to take that off, check it out. Uh, I'm gonna check the wiring diagram to make sure we have power to this guy. Maybe that switch is bad, I don't know. Um, I don't think so. Uh, the only reason that switch was bad was because I hit it with a hammer on accident. So we'll check the wiring diagram on that. I grabbed screws for this so I can put that back up there and at least have it complete for now. Um, I, I don't know what else we might have going on. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I think, is we'll pull that carb off. And then we're gonna pull this plate off too. I did go through the car wash, so I tossed that back on. Uh, but we'll pull that plate off, we'll get the kickstart reinstalled, and uh, see if we can get some spark. So we have the kickstart back on. Um, I think we got this all sorted. If you look back there, the gear is not engaged. We had to have this almost 360 degrees off of where the perch is. So we wound it all the way around, set it on there. We're going to put a new gasket in there, put that side cover on. We're not going to put oil in it yet. Um, I'll also put a new O-ring on there. And I'm uh, not going to put oil on there yet because we're not going to drive yet. We just want to see if it'll get spark. So uh, I'll put that new side cover on. I'm not showing you guys this because it's, I feel like it's pretty, uh, pretty boring stuff. If you guys have questions, feel free to comment below. One more thing I wanted to show you with the wiring is uh, a guy made this up online. So hopefully that's steady enough so you guys can grab a screenshot. Uh, that's the wiring for the uh, key cylinder. So. Ah, there we have it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put that cover back on and I'll be back with you guys when it's ready to go. So we got the uh, cover back on here. Kickstart is back on and it recoils as it should. Um, and it looks like it should have enough space there. That's really so hard to crank over by hand. Uh, we have our uh, zzz, zzz, tester in there. We're gonna kick this thing over, test for spark. Uh, I think that's where I'm gonna leave off tonight and then we can come back tomorrow. We'll go through that car, clean out the gas tank, wherever that is, over there and uh, put some fresh gas in it, some 50 to one, because we're not gonna, I hate trusting these things, I know they work for a lot of people, but uh, we're just gonna bypass it like we did on the Z90 and we're gonna run 50 to one, uh, check the plug, see how it likes it. So uh, let's, uh, let's see if we have spark. I hate dealing with spark stuff, so I really, really hope this is okay. Uh, previous guy claims he had it running, so uh, maybe we have spark, uh, but he set it at a high idle, so. Uh, that's why I want to go through that carb. But let's uh, let's take a look at that spark and uh, see if we have any. So 
So I went and grabbed these lights because I know some of these, uh, I don't know if this specific model requires the headlight to work for the whole ignition system to work. Uh, could very well be the case. He said that he had the headlight and everything going and uh, at, then he couldn't have the, the headlight wasn't working and he just, he stopped there. So I put these guys back in there because uh, I don't know if those play a part either. Um, it's possible the headlight plays through this left switch and maybe that's why the horn and everything is not working. I'm not really sure. I'm going to do some questioning on the forums. Uh, but these lights not turning on is a little interesting to me. Usually the orange one and maybe I have them backwards. Um, but one of these should be lit up for the generator and then it should go out when the generator is charging. It's not currently on. So I, I kind of feel like we might have an issue with the, uh, the headlight here. Um, I, I think that's where I'm going to leave it off tonight. Definitely has good compression. We did get that side cover back on, so that's good. Uh, Kickstart is working. I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to have to figure out what's going on up here. I'll try and find a, uh, a new headlight. It looks like it comes through to this clip right here. Um, oh, it's possible maybe that just got dirty. So I'll try that first, but I don't see even playing with it that the headlights flickering or anything. So uh, I'm going to leave you guys off here for tonight. I'll come back uh, at a later time and try and make some more progress. It may not look like it, but since the last clip we've made some pretty solid uh, progress. Um, found out why we are not having any spark or a front headlight. Uh, really not a big deal. Kind of interesting though. It looks like this guy here was snipped at one point and that goes directly to the battery. So there are three leads that go off the battery. I believe this is a diode of sorts. Uh, another lead goes all the way up to the switches. And this one is, I forget what this is called, but I'll put it in here. Uh, rectifier, I think. Uh, another one goes here. Uh, so that one was missing. And that was our, why well, we're not getting any power up to the headlight. So I don't have a whole lot of time tonight. So we're going to pull the carb off tomorrow. Uh, but today, well, we still have a little time. Uh, we're going to rerun that wire. Uh, battery is technically supposed to be flipped around, so we'll flip that around and uh, show you guys that we have spark and a headlight and high beam. And we do have working buttons up here, although the horn doesn't work still. Um, I don't know, it's pretty... If you look back there, it's kind of dirty. I don't know if it uses this as a ground or what, or if one of these is a ground and power. But we'll try to clean up the contacts. I'm sure the horn's good. Um, if not, we'll get another one. Um, so let's do this. So a little more progress before we go to bed here. Um, I did get the new power wires ran to the other side. I flipped the battery around like it shows in the manual. Not that it matters, but we did that. Uh, I, in a moment of just being really dumb, I didn't run this with the rest of them. I, I don't know what I was doing. Uh, so I will cut that and rerun that. We have a new line pushed there. Um, so if we turn this thing on, well, interesting thing, with the key in the off position, we have, interesting, with the key in the off position, that light's been lighting up. So there, there's something going on with the uh, alternator charging light, and I'm not really sure what, but we'll get that sorted out. As you can see, the, uh, the headlight came on there, and if we hit the uh, right button, not only do we get the bright, but we get the uh, bright on button. Still no horn. Um, what else? We get uh, a little spark here, so we can do it by hand. It's pretty hard to do by hand, but do a spark there. So what we're going to do tomorrow, hopefully, uh, we're going to pull the carb off clean it out. It is pretty new. I'm going to, again, bypass the oil feed down there, and I'm going to cap these, and we'll get the gas tank all cleaned out over there. I think it's uh, 50 to 1 mix in it, and yeah, I guess we're going to we're gonna see if it'll start. I think it'll start no problem. Uh, it does seem to have good compression and a spark. Uh, obviously, if we get the carb all set, we'll be, uh, we'll be good to go. One other thing I have to do is the uh, oil containers over there. I know we're not going to use it, but I do want it on there. I want the bike to be complete, so we'll clean that up and uh, mount that back in there. Probably replace this guy as well, because that's like, it's rock hard. It shouldn't be that hard. So, 
Uh, that's progress. I also see, if we look under there, we have some backlighting on the speedometer, so that's cool. Things are kind of coming together here. So we'll pick this back up tomorrow, uh, a couple seconds for you guys, and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get this thing started. Just picking up where we left off, I went through the carb real quick and cleaned out all the jets. They were pretty messy. Uh, as you can see, the carb's still a little messy on the outside. Uh, I will be buying, or I shouldn't say I will be, I already bought a rebuild kit. I uh, also realized we, we still have a few electrical issues. Um, basically, there's power back here all the time on this one. There should not be power there all the time uh, based on what I'm finding in the wiring diagram. But we should have uh, everything sorted out enough to at least make this thing start. Uh, I do think I need a new throttle cable. This one's a little sticky. Um, can hardly get it to close and then it eventually will just kind of close on its own. At least I thought it was. I don't know. So we'll get, to, this thing could really use all new cables if you look at these, they're, they're a little rough. Um, and they look like they're probably stretched out a little bit because these are backed off about as far as they'll go. So we'll probably order all new cables. Um, but we do that finish or put together enough, I think, to try and get this bike started. So I'm going to uh, go away from the video real quick. We're going to dump out the gas like I've been saying I'll do for the last three days. Uh, put some 50 to 1 mix in there and make new fuel lines and then we'll be back with you guys. This is something I feel like I haven't seen in days. Uh, just a few minutes for you guys really. But uh, got everything back together. Um, I really like how these things look. So let's take a look at what I did since uh, since the last clip here. I took the car apart, got that all cleaned up. It's it's back down in here. Uh, everything's hooked up. I put the uh, put the fuel line on there. Uh, there's some fuel running through there. Got the inline filter, of course. I don't see any fuel leaks, which is kind of interesting because that carb was uh, definitely not as new as I was led to believe. Um, but that looks good. I did get this kind of mocked up, so you can see with the sticker on there, you know, it tells us off, ignition, park, uh, we got high beam, and then the charging light, of course. Um, what else? I feel like that's kind of it for now. I do have, uh, you know, I got other things I need to wrap up. I want to put a, uh, I just want to delete that. I'll have to cap these off and put that cover back on. Um, I am going to, like I said, get some new uh, cables and stuff. But that's a little down the line. I think first things first, let's try and start this thing. I want to see if it'll run. Um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it, but I don't know about that carb. So we'll see. Let's uh, give her a couple cranks and see what happens. Look at that, that's the first time that thing's running. I don't know how long. It's uh, it's uh, pretty smoky in here. Cracked up in the garage there quick. It runs good, it idled right away. That was pretty impressive. I think we gotta crack open the uh, throttle blade a little bit. Have the uh, control right there. Maybe mess with the, uh, the uh, idle mixture and everything, but that's awesome. I'm so glad this thing ran. Um, it was revving up a little bit there, but I need to give it a little time, let it kind of work out the kinks first, and uh, 
let it do its thing. So there it is, guys. That's awesome. I want you guys see it with the headlight on and everything. So there it is, guys. We got the uh, 76 SS 125 running there. Uh, this is uh, not something I usually do. This is a longer video than most of my videos. Um, this one's going to be about 20 minutes long, if not longer. Uh, so I don't think you guys, if you stuck through it, uh, we do have more stuff coming on here. We have a lot of stuff to clean up on this bike, uh, but we just wanted to get it running. And I think we did so pretty successfully. So uh, definitely more videos coming soon. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more stuff on this, Rambler, the Trans Am, the Z90 back there, whatever it is, anything else we have coming up, please hit that like, subscribe button. It helps us out so much. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.